Hello YouTube, welcome to Curious Me channel and this is Shabazz Khan. Today in this screencast we will discuss about Ajax and JSON. First we will talk about Ajax, then we will talk about JSON and then we will build an app to show you Ajax and JSON in action. So what is Ajax? Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. What does that mean? That means Ajax is a process of sending requests to a server and then bringing back the response without reloading the entire page. So you might be thinking, okay, that's the definition, but what does it mean? So let me show you what does it mean. So open your browser, go to google.com and then press F12. This will bring out the developer tools of your browser. Now go to network tab. Okay, so are you set? Now minimize both of these. Now what we will do is we will press anything in this text box. For example, A. See, the moment I pressed A, there is a request that went to the server and something came back. Then again, I said J and then again, I said A and then again, I said X. Now you can see all these options that are being attached to this drop down right here. This is what is coming back in this responses. Okay. So, even though this page is not being reloaded, as you can see, <clears throat> see, this page is not being getting, okay, sorry for the wrong spelling, I'm very bad with spellings. So even though this page is not getting reloaded, we are communicating with the server. So this is Ajax, simple as that. So what is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. As the name suggests, it is a notation or a representation of our data. All right, so what is so special about JSON? The thing about JSON is it is very easy for a human being to understand and it is equally easy for a machine to parse this language. Okay, so this is why we use JSON. It is very lightweight. So let's have a look at this code snippet right here. So in this code snippet, okay, this is a JSON object right here. This is a JSON object. So in this object, we will see there is a key and a value, a key and a value and a key class and a value Gryffindor. So JSON object is nothing but a key value pair, which is separated by curly braces. Okay. So this is an object and the properties of these object are name, age and class. And the value of each property can be a string, a Boolean value of an object itself or an array. All right, so here is a variable JSON data that I have created, which is an array of objects. All right, and each of these JSON objects has a property and its value, or you can say a key and its value. So how will we access each of these objects properties? If you have a look at right here, I have written JSON data. That is the name of the variable and zero. That means I am targeting this object right here the object at the zeroth index and then I have said dot name which will give me the value of this key simply JSON data one dot age will give me the value of this key and JSON data two dot class will give me the value of this key okay so this was JSON the simplest way put so now that we know what is Ajax and what is JSON, let's go ahead and build a very simple application to just understand and get us familiar with what, how to use Ajax on JSON. So this is the application that we will build. It is nothing complicated. It is, it is a very simple application. Uh, it is just a button. And when you click on this button, a, date, a list of data is fetched from the server and only five elements from that data is displayed right here. And then when you click on it again, the next five is displayed. And again, the next five is displayed. And when you reach the end of the list, the list starts over. See, when I reach the end of the list, it displays a message that says list empty start over. And then when I click on it again, it starts from the beginning. Okay, so let's go and build it. I have already created the structure. This is the structure. Let me increase the font size. Okay, so this is the structure. Uh, it's just an HTML, then a header, which has a title, and then a style of body. 
and then the ajax container the button ajax call and the button when i hover over that button the style of the button when i hover over it and the item that each item styles that i am displaying there okay so this is my div the div is ajax container and inside that i have a button and then in also the late the data that i'm displaying so let's just open this in browser okay so at this moment when i click on this nothing will happen see nothing happens why because i have not written the logic so let's go ahead and write the logic so i'm using jquery uh, which is a javascript library and for that you have to include this cdn so how to include this cdn just go to this website right here this is the name of the website code.jquery.com and from there there's this, this get the latest version jquery click on minified and then copy this copy this and then paste it in your code block and always remember you should always write script below your body tag okay it is a very good programming practice why because when this page loads scripts are loaded in the end but styles and your html are loaded first so let's just go ahead and start writing our script first i'll declare a variable count to keep count of my clicks okay so that when i fetch the data i have the count that how many times that i have clicked and then on the click let me bind a click event on this button Okay, so I have bound a click event on this button and I'm saying that when you click on this button Call this function. Okay, so let us define this function first Okay So in this function what I'll do is I'll simply use This Okay for our Ajax call right and I'll say that okay fetch data from this URL and use this method okay so now for the URL part see I don't have any hosted website right now so let's do a very simple thing go to google.com and then write uh, fake API for developers right and then see uh, okay see here it is json placeholder fake online rest api for developers i have used this for the you know when i made that demo so i went here so it says that it has a hundred items in this list so that means i was displaying five elements from this hundred items list each time when I clicked on the button all right so I just copy the URL and then I will say that fetch data from this URL okay and then I'll say that when you are done okay when you are done then what you do is get each element from that data sorry when you are done give that data here okay so once this ajax call is done it gets the method it will give all those data to this variable right here okay and then we will use this variable and fetch five data on each click and display it inside this div right here this div okay so let's go ahead and declare variables where start is equals to count if count is greater than zero, I'll say if count is greater than zero, then my start is five into count, else my start is count. I'll say my end is start plus n. Now I'll run a for loop for i equals to zero, i less than, okay, not from zero, uh, from start. Then I'll say i less than n, then I'll say i plus plus symbol, uh, just I'll say var i so that it will not throw an error. Okay, now that we are done, 
I'll declare another variable right here and I'll call it where str equals to this okay okay so now what I'll do is I'll write str plus equals div uh, class equals to I've already created a class okay let's just copy this so this is my div tag and then I'll say that user ID is equals to plus data and the key the key so what is what was the what is the key here the key is user ID then I'll say break that's it and then I'll say plus now I'll just user ID is is now I'll write title is equals to plus data I dot title and plus and then this and then I'll just close the div and that's it so this is done so what here I'm doing is basically I'm taking out five elements wrapping up in an HTML and then appending it to this string okay I mean concatenating it to this string so once I'm done with this loop I will have a string with five concatenated item which is arranged in an HTML for better formatting so what I'll do next is I'll just write this code to append data to that div so I'll write append this string to that div so this will simply do that now what I'll do is okay I have missed a few things equals 2 will be here and 5 will be here okay and then one more thing that I have missed is once doing all these increase the value of count and before appending this empty it first so that every time we are getting a new value instead of attaching it onto itself if uh, one more condition that I'll write is if start is greater than or equal to data dot length minus 5 what I'll do is I'll set count to 0 and then I will say this dot append list traversed uh, start over that's it and then return so basically what this code does is it checks this piece of code checks that whether we have reached the end of the list or not okay so once we have reached the end of the list of I can just simply say end if end is greater than or equal to data dot length that means that if we have reached the end of this list then reset the value of count to zero and then display that the list has been traversed and then return so that this piece of code is not executed I'll just save it and then check for some errors there's none so let's just see this count okay this count is zero okay let's go ahead and refresh this and then click on it okay okay it is working now let's see if the end of the list nine then ten and then list traversed start over so this 
instead of writing it here what I can do is I can copy this also so that before appending it I will empty the list okay so let's just go ahead and refresh it once again okay display the data let us bring out the developer tools and then just go to network tab so that we can see that in action see every time I click a request comes and it comes five six seven eight nine list traversed start over and then it starts from the beginning once again and the data that is coming here is we can check out in responses see this is the data so there, there are 100 objects JSON objects which is inside an array so this is it guys this is Ajax and JSON I have kept it as simple as I can so that you people can understand what and how Ajax and JSON are used to communicate with some so, so if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have any other suggestions to make do leave a comment down below I'll surely reply thank you and have a great day ahead